Hello, this is Jared playing Oxygen Not Included. We're in the Folia cluster. In last episode, we had a little bit of a uh, food crisis, but we're past that. I've got 43,000 calories in this world, 18,000 over here. We're not out of it, but things are improving. I'm gonna be pushing to make things even better. I want to mention two awesome comments that were brought up, one of which uh, death one, I believe what you were saying is I've got four tiles here really because I've got this area over here Which is effectively just a nature reserve If I had to put mesh tiles here and these doors let air through then this could have been actually part of this airflow area and Essentially pushing the base a little bit closer together just saving a bit of a uh, space That is pretty cool and never even thought but you're absolutely right. I think I think that's what you were Indicating but that that makes a lot of uh, sense. I'm not going to refactor that now, but definitely going to keep that in mind for future basis The other one Terracom suggested about the washrooms and a specific order of placing sinks lavatories and showers to optimize the amount of steps They admit that it is minor optimization, but it is still pretty cool and once I get a little bit of time working on some higher priority stuff I'm going to do a refactor and I'll show you exactly what they were suggesting there and how that uh, saves a bit of steps Thanks so much for this. I must admit I'm not a fan of looking things up in games. It kind of ruins it but getting advice from others is uh, is just it, it, it's just social. It's exciting I've been trying to convince my friends to play this game and so I could have people to talk with in person, but it's uh, it's a difficult sell. I don't know if anyone else has been in a similar thing trying to sell your friends on this game, but nonetheless, it is so exciting to have your comments and just the fact that uh, some of you are out viewing what I've been up to. So thanks for all of that. Let's begin. Starting off building a pump here, realize that a dupe that is on the manual generator is probably not going to be happy, but once this is in place, it's going to be removing the hydrogen and converting it to power anyway. So if there is an excessive amount of hydrogen here, no one should have to run the manual generator. Go oh, I just realized I've got the power producer on my smaller circuit. Might as well take the time to get rid of that. I can envision a future stable up in this zone with the uh, tree. So I'm going to put the ladder up here with the door and get access to that. And I could put three pips there. And I can feed about uh, one dupe if I've got a tree or three pips in a room. Scrubbing the skills of POW because I want to have a dupe that can operate this machine here, the power control station, this is something I should have seen coming and planned for that to avoid the need of skill scrubbing, but uh, there it is. I definitely want to have someone with electrical engineering skill on both of the bases. The salt water geyser has been overpressured, worried about the excessive amount of heat that this would produce if it were to allow to uh, spew out any more. So starting on second stable over here, I've got a couple of tiles to fill in because it's technically not a stable because it's too big right now. Just realized I also had a battery on a smaller circuit. There's no value in that. And building a pump here because I'm going to eventually want access to this little bit of water. Worried about water in this particular world. This is my second cache, but this cache is also quite small got power issues over here that could just be the skill scrubber running but uh, actually have they already removed their skills not quite yet so pow has had their skills scrubbed so I'm gonna go over and assign them the ability to have electrical engineer and while I'm at this just thinking I need to have someone on this space that can work the grill so maybe I'll choose art they'll probably like that maybe not as much as art fundamentals but let's give them grilling so we can start to operate electric grill on this base so things are starting to get critical I'm not used to having 17 dupes this early 
So I'm doing something I said that I wouldn't do, which is do egg incubation on two bases at the same time. So that's one thing. The other thing is I'm having to operate this machine, Micro Musher. And this is all just until I get the Locavore achievement and I can start growing my own food instead of relying on this terrible machine. So that takes power, takes water, and not that I don't have a, a lot of in that particular world. And just because I want to get to meat very quickly and to uh, reduce my food dependence, or, or just to be able to survive for that matter, I'm just pushing incubating eggs as much as possible on both bases. So hopefully this isn't going to last very long because it's not super fun, but uh, we'll, we'll get through this. I'm pretty sure. I've got the goal of getting up to 20 dupes, so I still have three more. When's the next? Oh my goodness. When is the next dupe? Okay, I've got a cycle and a half. Um, I'll have to decide what base it makes sense to have them over, but until then, I'm just back and forth going crazy trying to get past this food crunch that has resurfaced a little bit. This is something I just started doing. So. Uh, for a while, I've been sweeping eggs and having them dropped off over here just so that this dupe knows to only process the eggs that don't have the little by effect. But in addition to that, I'm looking at the actual incubation value. And for instance, if I see an egg that doesn't have the little by effect and I see it's about to hatch, let's say 90% or more, I don't bother putting it into the incubator. At first, I found that kind of annoying because you have to look at this and the uh, actual little by status but now I'm at the point where I don't really notice it uh, so much ah that feeling when you did all eggs and you can let this dupe out to do some other things but I still have the dupe over the side to do a couple more eggs before I'm completely free of this process for this cycle teleportation equipment has been recharged so I'm gonna send brains over they were here just to activate the teleportation equipment, but since this is now available, they're going back. So I'll only have seven dupes to feed over in this world. I see some hydrogen making its way into the hydrogen generator. And we've got automation on this end, making sure that we only have hydrogen here. And we've got automation here to make sure the hydrogen generator is not operating when it is uh, max power. We're just waiting for Pow, who has the electrical engineering skill to actually automate this. You can see this circuit here is a bit strange, so that's why I'm putting this in. Actually, are we at the point we can split this? I think we are. So I'm going to split this such that this electrolyzer, this machine which is generating power, or our food, I mean, is in a separate circuit. So let's create that now carefully, making sure I don't cross the wires. So now I have two separate transformers and two separate lower circuits. Let's give that a second to see if they come online. Yep, there we are. Awesome. Okay, so now that should uh, keep those things powered, especially this machine, because I want to make sure we get food, be able to survive. Just see the colony earned an achievement. I'm hoping that's the locavore achievement. Let's go over. <laughs> okay. Whew, our food problems are over. Well, not entirely, but let's get to planning some food. First planter boxes are going in. I'm already telling the dupes when you can put in some mealwood. Because I don't want to depend on the micro musher anymore let the big hunt start dupes are going to convert these critters to some meat because i don't need to fill the stables anymore eventually that's going to be converted to barbecue meat and this will advance my progress towards the carnivore achievement but also give me an alternate source of food so i think the dupes should be putting it in the electrical grill if not the fridge and we'll actually be increasing the number of calories for <laughs> significantly for the first time in quite a bit on this particular base. One thing I wished about this game is the actual dupes critter skill effect at the amount of time that lullaby effect was uh, in a, 
effect. If that were the case, I would have much more respect for uh, the critter ranching skills early on in this game. Just when the food situation starts improving, I decide I should bring on another dupe. This dupe's called Buff. They like operating, suit wearing, digging, and they have three positive traits, which I thought was pretty nice. They're rubbing their tummy, indicating they're hungry. Well, uh, about that dupe. Let's see how we do in this space. Though I do have mealwood starting to grow, so that is a good thing. I have about, I can feed about five, uh, or rather one dupe of five of these planter boxes. This takes care of four, but we have eight here, so I'm still going to have to plan ahead. This is an exciting moment. I have an exosuit forge, light automation, storing uh, reed fiber in here when the dupes have a chance anyways and I can create my first Atmo suit. So that's going to go over here and I will put it into one of these guys to allow the dupes to actually start exploring the rest of this asteroid. They're going through some obsidian. Very beneficial to have the Atmo suit since they give a plus 10 to excavation. This pocket of water is gone. Let's mop up that area and go connect the other one that's only going to run so long as well but uh, we've got a pump in here that's powered up i can now connect this so that's going to start directing water towards the base so the washrooms are nearly backed up so let's put in liquid reservoir at some point we got to start converting this back to water let's check the washroom over in this world so we're okay over here. In this world, we're producing some copper because I want to put some Atmo suits down here. A little bit worried about making this out of lead because this could potentially get to be a warm spot. And copper would be a better material when things are warmer compared to lead. Base over here has a new electrolyzer in the central area of the base. Got a new stable ready to go, starting to put in some critters. Specifically the pips. I'm going to grow some more planter boxes. have a few up here. But uh, more is on the way. And we have a new manual generator. Not super happy about this. So what I'm doing is I'm actually taking a little bit of risky mission. At least from what I see. And uh, cracking into this area. And see if I can take the hydrogen from here. Get power from that. It is time for the 19th dupe. This is Snack. They're interested in decorating, research, and cooking. They don't have a cot available, so we better build this over here really quick, dupes. And we're going to do a little bit of a refactor here on this, but I'll show this when it's uh, fully complete. It is time for the evening hunt. Calories over here are getting a little bit low, but we have lots of critters that we can... Convert to meat and make some barbecue meat. So we might as well do that now. We are out of water down here. So it's time to destroy that pump and connect this area here. Just so that we can get the water from these guys. Cracked open this area. Just waiting for a little bit of carbon dioxide. Actually, maybe I'll open up this tile. When this thing is fully hydrogen, we'll seal this back up and get this pump going. So now that I've got this area blocked off, I'm guaranteed to be at uh, hydrogen in here. I'm just going to get the dupes to lock the door. But uh, at some point, I might have low pressure. There's no point running the pump. So only run it if it's, say, above 400. We'll go with that. And that should start to... Oh, yeah, that's right, because we're not actually connected. But eh, once I do, ah, okay, all right, that's fine. I'm glad to uh, glad to be uh, observing this, so I'm going to destroy this. Just a little piece of chlorine needs to be taken care of first, and then we'll have a new source of hydrogen. I do have to watch the fact that this produces very hot hydrogen, so over time I will have to either cool this off or uh, just stop consuming the hydrogen. 
just about have the dupes putting on Atmos suits. They're technically not at the moment because they have to take one tile step over, but they will very soon. Same refactor that I'm doing to the washroom on the other world, I'm going to be doing over here. So we're going to disassemble all this, but I've got temporary outhouses right up here for the dupes to use in the meantime. So here is the washroom that was suggested with uh, Terracom. It goes sink, lavatory, sink, lavatory, shower, shower, and then excess equipment over here. So another shower and lavatory. I decided to put in the, the uh, lighting, automate lighting, so just added that bit or gate over here just so the dupes have some light while they're in here. But this balances, they mentioned that this does two things. It balances the decoration value because it's a positive value of the sink versus the decor of the lavatory, but it minimizes the amount of steps the dupes actually have to take. Now again, minor, minor, uh, minor um, optimization with this, but I really like it. And then the last course I put in tiles to make the dupes run even quicker on here. So this kind of depends if you're really using it for optimization on two dupes per schedule, which I have set up at least per asteroid. So thank you for that tip. It is time to take my 20th dupe. So they're going to be ready. They're interested in tidying, suit wearing, operating. They have radiation eater is a trait not necessarily that useful, but I thought I'll take them anyways. So with 20 dupes, and we're just under cycle 50, let's look at calories, because I'm worried about that, because um, we've been short a few times, but we have 71,000 calories here, uh, so 27 which is barbecue meat. On the home world, we have 26, a little shorter, 8,000 in barbecue meat, but we are able to produce quite a bit of food over here so we're looking pretty good i uh, will continue on and we will set up this space a little bit further now that i have 20 dupes i've got 10 on each asteroid i think i can advance much quicker than i ever have before it's all about keeping the dupes fed and providing them with oxygen speaking of which let's see oxygen level here is not super great on the home world it is again not not super great so that is something that i've got to do t with uh, 10 dupes on each asteroid that means i gotta get the electrolyzers out and i also have to make sure i'm able to provide water amount of calories in this space is quite high so i'm going to actually scale back the meal wood just a little bit well dupes we've made it to cycle 50. there are 20 of you you're all fed and breathing so far, which is good. I'm putting in a system here to clean the water from uh, the polluted or fr yeah, polluted water and food poisoning that comes from the toilets. It's going to be going through this system here. I'm going to have a similar setup and starting to dig out a spot for that over on this space. Just curious because we're halfway towards the carnivore achievement being able to expire on us. Where are we on that? Look at some of the other achievements that we got. Good egg. Oh, exciting. Um, let's look at not, not super sustainable. I'm trying to do that one, but that's carnivore. So one fourth of the way, a little bit more, 138,400. Okay, so make it made progress, but we need to keep the incubators going, dupes. Just change this around while I'm here. So yeah, I've got this set up on the two bases. So pretty much just a lavatory for the two dupes, each cycle, two showers, and then a backup over here. I guess I'll switch that one over as well. So starting the process of pumping this area out to create a vacuum. Ultimately, we want to get chlorine in there. The issue is, typically, I just put a pump in the chlorine area, but looking around, there is no chlorine. So what I'm going to have to do is cut out some bleach stone. I'm going to actually store it in a room down here, pump it, filter it, and then push it in. But, of course, after this area has been uh, created a, a vacuum first. 
changing the circuitry because this left one was getting overloaded a little bit so adding the rock crusher on this side to help a bit. Calories are low but critter count is high so we're going to allow I allow animal in there whoops uh, we're gonna essentially attack these guys and get them cooked to be turned into barbecue meat so we can survive off of some calories otherwise we're gonna have to run this machine dupes and I don't think any of you want that to happen some bleach stone is hit the ground dupes are picking it up and they're gonna put it over in this little room for us well it is time to print a blueprint but what do you know I have my planned 20 dupes so I can start to take the care packages First piece of chlorine is making its way in. We don't need a lot, just the tiniest bit will do. Just watching the fact that a few cuddle pips have been born. I'm just wondering that uh, it might be beneficial to send some of their eggs over to the other world because they can attend to eggs. Now, I'm not feeding them those areas, so I don't know how well this is going to work out, but figure we'll give this a shot. We we're running into power situation on this asteroid, so now we've got two hydrogen generators operating. We've got an excessive hydrogen, so that should go out well. As long as we have the smart battery on them, they shouldn't be wasting power. Built this whole system because at the time there was chlorine in this area, because I want, of course, be able to get chlorine here once a vacuum is created. And then I realize it is now gone because this pump picked it up so what I can do is uh, just isolate these two pieces and I'll push these two in instead and I guess we don't need this whole setup after all so let's cut the power so we're not wasting power on that so just checking on what geysers we have in the area and oh look minor volcano next to the living area uh, let's overpressure that pretty quick, dupes. That could be pretty scary. So it's not a lot of chlorine, but it's on the way into this room, and that'll be enough to kill the food poisoning in polluted water. Or actually, I guess it's technically going to be clean water at this point. We have started at the process of digging down to the oil biome, and that is with uh, the Atmo suits on, of course. Two new geysers I've uncovered. This one is a liquid sulfur geyser. And over here we have natural gas. Definitely the natural gas will be useful. Sulfur depends if I want to feed the little bug creatures over here. But uh, don't really have a plan for that at the moment. Feel like Santa's being bad to me this year. I'm having coal as a present. But uh, no more dupes still. Still sticking to the 20. Starting the air cleaning process on this space with some deodorizers. Uncovered our first neural valsillator. Given that to sprocket, have a seat and see what trait you get. Hopefully it's something useful. Gotta click the button, otherwise you're gonna suffocate in chlorine. Complete process. Air consumption rate minus 50. That is a nice feature to have. So now I'm sending water that's been treated from the base to go into the water system. And then if this ever runs out, and only when it runs out, then new water will be used. So I'll be able to essentially conserve this to only the point of which it's needed. Setting up a water weed farm over here. Going to need some salt on top, or salt water, and a salt water in. So I'm building the piping for that. Going to store some bleach stone, which is the input to this uh, farm in here. It's going to be with water. And still waiting for water to get into this zone because I'm terrified of the minor volcano. On to the next water cache. But this time I'm having this water go in and pass this guy essentially indicating that I want water that comes from the uh, toilets that's treated of course after it's been treated that's going to get priority being sent out 
So the dupes are going to be spending time here farming, and there's just far too much hydrogen, so figured we'll just throw in some oxygen masks for the time being. Starting to explore more of the oil biome, getting some fossils, lead, and collecting some crude oil. Ah, oh, look at that. Cuddle Pip is cuddling some eggs. That might just mean a little bit less work I have to do, so yes! Someone has Minitronics engineering skills, so it's time to bring in the auto sweepers. First thing is going to be on the incubator area. So Cuddle Pip is cuddling some eggs, realizing I might not want to actually have this system in operation right now. Because maybe I just want to leave the eggs exactly where they are next to Cuddle Pip. But I'll have it in place, it can at least drop meat, or I can use it in the future. I'm experimenting with an idea that is from Death One, which is trying to create a spot which will store an infinite amount of gas. I don't have it quite working yet. I had a little bit of liquid here, but the gas actually removed the liquid. But the hope is if I can get another, enough liquid here, uh, let's try crude oil. Bring that, maybe mop this up. But the idea is if that sits, if liquid sits here, this will output carbon dioxide, never over pressure, and keep pushing up into this area. So very excited to see if this is going to work out or not. Dupes over here want some clean air, so they're putting in some deodorizers around the center of the base. Dupes are bringing in the crude oil. I'm going to drop it right here and see if this works instead of water. The idea, actually, before I even close this area up, why don't I just try it now? Um, whoops. Let me try that again. So connect this with power. So that's going to send carbon dioxide over. Now, when it was water, it actually destroyed the water. But maybe with the oil... It just backs it up. Okay. Not sure. Let me keep experimenting. So I did a little bit of research. And what I think is the case is this guy needs to have crude oil that's less than 200 grams. So I had 16 kilograms I've got now this in here. I also never needed the actual faucet. I could just uh, done this trick, which is one of the newer features of the game. I could click move here. Let's see if this works. Make that a high priority task. Now, if this works, I'm just assuming it might. I would would want to send crude oil over to the other world. Now, I can't put a pump inside the actual oil biome because it's too hot it overheats so that's why i've got this set up but let's just watch a dupe or move this over once that's the case i can then hit empty again high priority someone should do that okay so get out of there because I want to seal this off and we'll see if I can actually I don't even uh, need to wait I can see if the pump works right now this is exciting if this works this will be so cool because I used to build a series of gas reservoirs Oh, the oil's coming back. Okay, but this, this test isn't really complete unless we seal this off. So let's do that and see what happens. And here it is in action. So I have this whole area blocked off and continually upping the pressure. That's removing carbon dioxide from the base and storing it right here. I have a pump. So I can pump it out for use cases later on if I choose. That is amazing. I am so excited to know about this thing. Just about to try this experiment once again with water. 
sending the carbon dioxide there. I've got water in the amount of under 200 grams. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I didn't have enough water. Perhaps there's like a, a range that you've got to go between 2,000, I'm assuming, I guess, is the max. But maybe you need more than... Oh, do you notice that water sort of slipped up the wall for just a second? But okay, right now it's not really doing any value because it's just going in a loop. So I'm going to cut this off, but actually seal this off. So I don't think I need to send over the crude oil, at least at this point for this particular use case. And here it is running in this space, this time with water. And let's look, the pressure of carbon dioxide is going up a little bit at a time. That's going to reduce the carbon dioxide. It'll stop when this stops seeing it. But I'll be able to get it out of the way, the dupes, and store it in here. That is amazing. And that's something that you can do very early on. You don't actually need much tech to actually get carbon dioxide or other gases out of the way, but also storing it. You don't have to necessarily leak it out in space. So cool. Thank you so much for that advice. So starting the process, building a liquid lock here. Before the dupes leave this zone, they're going to put on an Atmo suit. And this is going to be the exterior of the base. So explore it around here. The fact that they have the Atmo suits is protecting them from the environment, but also increasing the speed of which they can excavate. That's really awesome. We just need to put a tube access in here at some point. Of course, we're going to need the tech for that lit. But uh, this is a really awesome start. Having the auto sweeper dump meat that the dupes are creating. So that's just going to lie down here if it gets in there. But I, that's not the original purpose of it. I was going to have eggs sent down here, but since I've cuddle pips, I might as well just leave them in there with the eggs. So very excited. This is a uh, carbon dioxide is lowering. What is the pressure? 26 or kilograms and rising. That is so cool. At most suits, this is a trick I learned from you guys. I'm just putting this in your exit of your base. And then the rest of the base, you don't have to worry about gases, germs, exposure. Oh, I just realized we have a, a loop. No, we don't. I mean, dupes can't actually get through that. Never mind. Uh, I might want to plug it up nonetheless, though. Because the idea is I want to keep the gases on this side different than out here. And eventually, once I put... Uh, my electrolyzers in a place I'm pumping out just pure oxygen I can guarantee I only have oxygen anyway that'll be later on so I can already see another use case for infinite storage of gases and that's the hydrogen why have hydrogen fill up in your base I don't want to get rid of it because it's power but if I store it away in a little area it wouldn't be yeah we wouldn't have that happening dupes well Learned a lot with that. That is a really awesome thing to know. Water from this uh, system or from the cleaning system is backing up. And I don't want that to completely back up such that the toilets aren't operational. So not the best solution, but I'm just going to dump it here for now. Just in case that situation happens. I'd rather have a spill of water here than the dupes spilling their mess all over the base. Well, that is it for today. It's been a very exciting time. This is definitely the most advanced I've ever had a base at this point in the game. 20 dupes, 10 on each asteroid. That allows us to get a lot of things done very early on. Hoping I don't need the incubator anymore. Actually, speaking of which, where are we on the carnivore achievement? Because if I can get that one crossed off... I could really focus on other things more than halfway anyways so I'll uh, I'll see where I get in the next episode but the dupes are out actually exploring the exterior kind of uh, to the base which is awesome back on this world we're well into the bo oil biome and around in this area you're gonna have to produce some steel because I don't think there's gold amalgam in this world or at least these particular two asteroids but uh, yeah, the, this, is, this is an awesome trick here. I very much look forward to applying this to the hydrogen situation on both these bases, maybe natural gas and some other things.
But uh, I'm not going to be able to play for the next several days. So unfortunately, there won't be an episode until later in the next week. But there definitely is going to be. I'm going to be advancing this space even further. And using all the tricks that I've uh, put together and learned from you guys to build the base, expand, and see where I can get to. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later on. Till then.